Hello. Chapter 4 discusses the statement of stockholders' equity. After completing Chapter 4, you should be able to explain how the statement of stockholders' equity is organized, identify and explain common and preferred stock, define par value and additional paid in capital, list and explain typical items that affect retained earnings, define treasury stock, define accumulated other comprehensive income, and compute ratios and use ratio analysis to evaluate solvency, profitability, and investment performance. The first major decision is how to organize the entity. Most common forms of organizing a business are sole proprietorship, partnership, corporation, S-corporation, and limited liability company, or LLC. The form of business determines which tax form the company has to file, has consequences on the level of liability the owners face, as well as defines the rate and timing of income taxation. We will spend our time working on corporations. The corporate form of business begins with the submission of articles of incorporation to the state in which incorporation is desired. Each of the 50 states has its own Business Incorporation Act. Some states tend to protect the consumer and some tend to protect the corporation. Based on that, the corporation chooses the state it wants to be incorporated in. Um, you may know that Delaware is a favorite state for incorporation. Corporations divide ownership into shares of stock. Under the capital stock system, each share of stock represents an ownership right with the following privileges to share proportionately in profit and losses, in management, voting rights, share in corporate assets upon liquidation, share in any new issues of stock in the same class, preemptive rights, also known as. For example, if a corporation issues 100 shares of stock, each share will own 1% of the company or the one share over the number of shares issued. The basic ownership interest in a corporation is represented by common stock, but there can also be a preferred stock issue. To refresh, stockholders' equity represents the amount that was contributed by shareholders and the portion that was earned and retained by the enterprise. So we will see the paid in capital, all investments, and what was generated by the business that kept into the business, so net income minus dividends earnings retained. This is the general structure of the equity section of the ba balance sheet. We will see paid in capital section with the different types classes of stock separated into their legal capital. We will see the main parameters of the stock listed on the body of the balance sheet and we will also see the amounts paid in access of that legal amount separated into different equity accounts. We will see uh, the Ending balance for retained earnings. If the amount is negative, we will see accumulated deficit and we will see other components such as treasury stock or other comprehensive income that can either increase or decrease total stockholders' equity. As we add all these components or net them, that will give us the total stockholders' equity at the end of the period. Common and preferred stock. Common stock is the most common type of stock a corporation can issue. It represents the residual corporate interest that bears the ultimate risks. Our investors may lose their entire investment if the company goes under. They can also receive benefits. Common shareholders generally control the management of the corporation through their voting rights and profit most if the company is successful. The stock does not guarantee dividends or assets upon liquidation. This is dependent on how successful the company has been and if it has accumulated earnings. It also depends on the management strategy. Very successful corporations have not issued dividends for years to keep the profits within the company to ensure growth. Preferred stock is another type of stock. It is more of a supplementary type. It tries to attract certain type of investors that require somewhat of a fixed return. The preferred stock sets the amount of the dividend, usually expressed as a percentage value, which is applied on the par value of the stock. It has preference to earnings, or a preferred dividend will be paid before any common stock dividend is paid. They usually have no voting rights. The dividend is not guaranteed here either, 
it will be paid only if it is declared by the Board of Directors. If purchasing preferred stock, read the fine print and check if the stock is cumulative. Cumulative stock means that if dividends were not paid certain periods, they will be paid in the periods dividends are declared. Under these circumstances, common stockholders will see no dividends until the preferred stockholders are paid in full. But if the preferred stock is non-cumulative, dividends that were not paid will never be paid. There are other features such, such as convertible or non-convertible, so you need to make sure you like all aspects of the stock before you purchase it. Par value and additional paid in capital. Par value is an arbitrary amount assigned to a share when incorporating the corporation. It is also known as legal capital. Par value is usually set very low to avoid contingent liabilities. The par value of a stock has no relationship to what the stock sells at the moment or its market value. Usually market value exceeds the par value and when the stock is issued the legal capital is allocated to the capital stock account. So if we issue common stock, the common stock account will increase by the par value of the stock. Any amount beyond the par value will be allocated in another equity account, which you will see titled as additional paid in capital or capital in excess of par. Both accounts will be displayed on the balance sheet and the statement of stockholders' equity. The par value of Google, or Alphabet Incorporated, is a tenth of a cent. At the beginning of July, the stock was trading for $908 a share. For each stock that is issued, the capital stock account will be increased by $0.001 and the additional paid in capital will be increased by $907.009. Now, keep in mind that the market price changes dynamically, so the additional paid in capital will change or be affected accordingly.